Yes, and a two-time party monarch finalist. Apache is happily married to one wife. I did not write the script. One the way, one way. And he's the father of a beautiful 21-year-old daughter. He's going to be accompanied this evening by Project 2.0. And it is my great pleasure to welcome Sean Apache Carter to minister to us this evening. Good evening, everyone. Everybody's enjoying the concert so far? Everybody's feeling the presence of Jesus so far? Jesus is in this place, amen? All right, first thing on me, so I was introduced, but there's two people on stage. So at least you're wondering. This is my, my very good friend. We've known each other for about 15 years. Um, I always say she's one of the best worship leaders that it is in the Caribbean. He's definitely one of the best singers in Barbados. And if you don't know her, let me introduce you to Sammy Jane. So we both, we both sang, we, we met each other in the Experience Calypso Tate. Um, we've done a number of other concerts together, not together, but as two individual gospel artists. And this year, we've been promising for a long time that we would join forces, we would come together and see what the Lord will do. Amen. And um, it happened this year. Everything happens in God's time. Amen? Amen. Yes. So anybody here to praise Jesus tonight? Yeah. All right. Amen. So what we can do, you know, you know, after you eat, then you start to get a little ethnic fatigue stepping in. And it's already pretty late at night. So what we can do is that we're going to call a name that is above every name. Right? I mean... Just the little piece that I've seen so far, I know the presence of Jesus is here. But we want the presence of Jesus rushing out through these windows and rushing out into this community and transforming this community. We want that after this concert, that people are coming into this place. Amen? So that doesn't happen at the name of Apache. That doesn't happen at the name of Sami. That doesn't happen at the name of Turkey for Apostle. It doesn't happen at the name of Excellency. It happens at the name of who? So we're gonna warm you up a little bit for what we're gonna do. And we're gonna show that name. Amen. But we're gonna show it in a sequence. Just as powerful as we did just now. So we can have a little competition. So I'm gonna show Jesus what we are gonna show Jesus, and then you are gonna show Jesus. There's only two of us and there's many of you all, so you should all show us. Alright? Sound like fair competition? It doesn't sound like very competition. <laughs> so we will show Jesus, and then you show Jesus. But the trick to it is that when we get a little further down, we're going to speed it up a little faster. To the point where we're saying, Jesus, 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 Jesus. So it's going to be a chant. And it's a chant because there's a militancy to a chant that is different to just saying Jesus. You know, this is, this is 12 years for me, still a baby in marriage. And when I'm speaking to my wife, I don't say, baby, baby, wrong tone, but warfare is different, and we're here tonight to war, we're here tonight to war for souls in this area of Black Rock, and to see change and transformation, and we can do that, and we can shout it in the name of Jesus, so when you shout the name of Jesus, I want you to think of somebody that you know in this community, I want you to think of somebody in your family that, that you've been praying for, for them to come to Christ. It's at the name of Jesus that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. It's at the name of Jesus that healing will come to that person in your family that needs healing. Everything is at the name of Jesus. So you ready? So we'll say, Jesus! 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
sometimes as Christians, we find ourselves in situations where we know, we, yes, we are saved, yes, we are in Christ, but sometimes we feel defeated, we feel beat down. But I come tonight to tell you that you are a winner. Look to your neighbor and say, you are a winner. You are a winner.
And again, we are more than conquerors through Jesus. That means that we start to confess at the beginning of this. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's how I am a more than a conqueror. That's how we know that I am a winner. Because the work that Jesus did on Calvary's cross, you know what he said? It is finished. That's right. So we'll be a fight for. We don't fight for nothing. The battle is already won. We just need to walk in our identity and in our purpose. Sometimes we go to people and to present the gospel and we tell them all the things that they can't do. But we don't tell them about the abundant life. We don't tell them about the freedom that we have in Jesus. We don't tell them about the peace of mind. Sometimes when they walk into places People speak about a peace that they feel before you even say a word. I ain't say a scripture. I ain't say John 3.16. I ain't tell them God loved them. You know what? Believers, if you forget everything else from every other song, anything in that song and the other song that we will sing, remember that you are a carrier of the presence of Jesus Christ. Amen. He lives in us. Amen. He resides in us. So don't care how chaotic the atmosphere may be, or a, a room may be, or an environment may be. But you step into that with an understanding of who you are. I am more than a conqueror in Jesus Christ. I am a winner. So this world can't steal my joy, it can't steal my peace. It can't make me feel defeated. Not once I keep my mind stayed on Him. Amen? Jesus tells us that the greatest commandment is to love our neighbor. As we love ourselves. So again, brothers and sisters, you gotta love yourself. Amen. You gotta love yourself. And you know what will cause you to love yourself? When you realize that you were made in the image and the likeness. Jesus. God that made the heavens and the earth. Everything above, everything beneath. David said, where can I go and get away from the presence of God? Beijing part of that, you know. <laughs> where could where could go? Can't go away. Day, presence day, you know why? Cause the presence here. So we can sing it in zook, we can sing it in reggae, we can sing it in soca. The gospel is the gospel, but you know what was given power? The life that we live in, the life that we walk in. So when we speak these words, these words go in forth for power and going forth with authority. But we're here to sing, not to preach. Forgive me. I want you to make a decision going into this week that, that you will spread love. God, the Bible never says that God's, God, God loves people. It says God is love. He embodies the thing. The thing is Him. We can't love, I can't love my wife except for God. There's a lot of pretense going on in the world, but tonight I pray that we will love each other. Again, it says, they never say that we will be known by how well we can preach, how well we can prophesy, if we can lay hands on the sick and they recover. It says we will be known by our love, love. for each other. Yes. Amen? Okay. This song is called Love Your Neighbor. Oh, he's coming. 
Young and upcoming, I use the word young loosely. Give the band an opportunity to change over instruments, you know. While we're doing that, you all you enjoy the ministry of Apache and the Sabbath. I remember when they used to walk westerns. You know, the Indians always used to get beat. But that's one Indian that's a winner. Amen. Yes, y'all. Cowboys ain't want nothing to do with him. Yes, the Lord. Learn to love your neighbor. Love your neighbor, love your family. That's his name. He here about getting himself there, but we're ready now. I call him singer songwriter. He wrote a song and I heard it and it sounds like you go places. I recorded that song at practice and I sent it to some folks. I, I sent it with a little question. Guess who's that? And all the answers came back. You? But Ellie, you sound good, yeah? No, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, bless God. But we thank God for the ministry of Evangelist Barton Carrington. He's going to come and minister to us. He did his own original. He's ready to sing that tonight. 